Anybody can become a great leader in easy time, but the real leaders have commitment to show up in difficult times. You see, a lot of people will tell you that leadership is all about uh, showing up. Leadership is all about leading by example. And I think all of those examples are right. But you know what makes a great leader? One word, commitment, commitment. You see, that word today is very popular. A lot of people say, yeah, I have commitment. I have commitment. I have commitment. But here is what commitment looks like. When as a leader, you know what's right and you're doing it. And the followers, I mean, your family members, your team members, your kids, your wife, everybody is not agreeing with you. But you know you're doing the right thing for yourself, for your family, for your organization. And they are coming against you and how you fight that inertia, how you fight that storm exactly makes you or breaks you. That's what is a great leader. Anybody can please. In that case, you are becoming a people pleaser. Anybody can manage. In that case, you are becoming a manager, but a leader has commitment. You know, many years ago when I was starting in my first business venture, not anybody, not everybody supported me. My parents did not, but I knew that I had that in me. And as a result, even though nobody supported me, even though everybody was against me, I moved forward. And you know what? Not just me. I'm just a regular guy just like you. Some of the best leaders, Nelson Mandela or uh, Richard Branson, anybody, they had commitment to move forward. So when people talk about leadership, leadership is not about a position. It's about commitment. And I can tell you, 99% people don't have any commitment. There is no 99% commitment. It's 100 or it's zero. There is no 99% pregnant. There is no 99% happy. It's 100 or it's zero. So the question I have for you right now, do you have commitment to yourself? Have you committed or are you just acting? That's what makes a great leader. Bam, exactly two minutes. That was just an example of what my opinion is about what makes a great leader. Here are the things. I have reviewed some of your videos that Anupam and Rahul have sent me. You have done pretty well. You know, many of you spoke about leadership is all about this, all about that. Every answer is right, okay? Every answer is right, but here are some of my observations. Remember, first of all, I'm gonna give you five quick tips right now in this quick video. Is that okay? You ready? Number one, you have to grab people's attention. A lot of people come and give the speech, not just here in the video, this is fine, but on stage, hello, good morning, my name is this, and today my topic is this, and, and they don't know how to grab the attention. If you go back and watch this video right now, what I did is I basically spoke about that, you know, I, I, I grabbed your attention. That's the first thing that you have to understand. Second thing, you have to create credibility. See, anybody can say leadership is about this or management is about that or success is all about that. But how do you know that? You have to create credibility. So when I spoke about that, when I started my business venture, nobody supported me. Like that gives you credibility. You understand that I'm not just talking about it. I'm being about it. Third, enthusiasm. Very, very important thing. You know, there is a, there's an old saying, a little enthusiasm goes a long way. I have a saying that people don't listen to what you say. People don't even believe in what you say. People listen to see if you believe in what you say. So you have to have that enthusiasm. You have to wake the dead people up. That's how you got to speak. You have to have the passion, the purpose, the presence, the empowerment to wake the people up. That's the third tip. Fourth, you got to have a rhythm in the way you speak. So sometimes people speak in a, in a monotony, right? And then they speak a bit here, there, but you have to have the rhythm. You have to control the attention of the audience. So sometimes I speak fast, then I pause and I, then I say something, right? It's called the rhythm regulator. We're going to talk more about it at the event when we meet, but these are the four things. So we spoke about that. You have to have uh, you have to have the ability to grab people's attention. You have to create credibility, energy, and rhythm. Just make it all about the audience. See, uh, I could say, so that's my leadership view. Thank you. I didn't say that. Here is a lesson for you. What I did is I asked you a question. So that's what makes a leader. So the question is, are you committed to yourself? Right? I'm making it all about you. Like I'm talking this, this, and then I'm, I'm going into your heart, your head, your humor, your brevity to make sure that you're in my message. See a two minute speech, but at least five lessons right here. We can go hours about it, uh, but these are the five lessons. So we spoke about that you must have the ability to grab people's attention. Number one, number two, create credibility. Number three, uh, energy, you know, very, very vital because a lot of times you'll see that people don't have the right amount of energy and that, that kills it. Fourth, you must have the right rhythm and make it about the audience. That's the fifth tip. So this is just a demo thing for you to so that you can see and watch this video over and over again because I firmly believe that, honestly. I, I'm sold on the value of commitment. If you don't have commitment, 
man, nothing's going to happen to you. You're going to come and say, oh, I want more this. I want more that, you know, this, this. And I'm not making fun here, but I'm because I was the person who was acting like committed. I was committed to other people, but I was not committed to myself. And this is not a speech here, but I'm really telling you right now, you confident action takers. Have you committed to yourself yet? I'm not talking about you just coming here for two days. I'm talking about you. Have you come? Do you have commitment? That if you, if you take a step to become a master for the one year, for the next two years and three years, and your family comes against you, do you have the balls, the guts, the tenacity, the perseverance to say, you know what, I'm not going to be affected by your opinion because I know I'm doing it for myself, for my family. If you don't have that, you'll have a good time and the two-day event. And that's probably the last time we'll meet because I'm only committed to committed people. You have to have the fire. You have to have the power. You have to have the tenacity, the the stern power in you. And in case you have forgotten that you have that man, it's time for you to wake this up. If you're not excited after watching this video, check your pulse. You might be dead. I'm serious about it, man. You have to be passionate about what you speak. You have to have the power and confidence to create the influence with your audience. That's my tip right now. Vishal Sarkar, see you soon.